a printout of a signal. <laughs> it too is a weapon created by the Champion of Light. In its words, stirs a new reality. But it is incomplete. And yet, it provides a roadmap for the man to follow. A course that will lead him to a place where he may confront his enemy. The drive-in. Once the site of lurid celluloid fantasies, it's now the site of an art exhibition. And yet, it's the search for closure rather than culture that brings the champion of light here. A simple dog poo in the middle of the road. Our champion of light steps in it and gets it over his nice suede boots. Uh oh. Manuscript page. First things first. <laughs> Just run through everything. What is My who is that? Got worse. I didn't sleep much anymore. My life with Alice seemed like a constant fight. I was a wreck. Alice took steps. She booked a vacation in Bright Falls, a small town in Washington. It was supposed to be a chance to break out of the cycle I was in. She didn't know about the darkness in Cauldron Lake. Nobody knew about the darkness in Cauldron Lake. It was a mystery to everybody. Until it was too late. What's up with this car? It's quite a nice car, actually. This reminds me of that movie Jewel, which uh, I think was a Spielberg. Oh, fuff! God damn it! Skipped a frigging cutscene! How did that even happen? Yes, the, the champion of light. Once the site of lurid oh, God. fantasies, it's now the site of an art exhibition. And how a documentary is not art. Closure rather than culture that brings the champion of light here. <laughs> what? Samurai versus Conquistador Two: The Return of Conquistador. The rise of the return of the Conquistador, the movie, in 3D. He already picked up the manuscript page. Let's hope that he doesn't skip the cutscene by accident again this time. Oh, it's you. Mmm, that's fantastic. Are you okay? Go what? away. No, I want you. But... You'll what are you doing? Go away! So, you gotta go. You know I'll do what you want. Okay... I... I love you so much. Did you know that love hurts? Are you gonna hurt me now? Cause you should. Lady, you got darkness on the brain. I, I think I can help you if I can get the lights on in here. You can't turn the power back on. It's not allowed. You said. So, where shouldn't I go so I don't turn the power back on, accidentally? It's the big building on the other side of the drive-in, but it's locked. Where's the key? Just so that I know to avoid it. It's... it's on the wall next to the cash register. But you can't. You can't. Don't be bad. Hey, no problem. I'm just gonna go do some other stuff. Scout's on it. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what to say. Just try to stay calm. I I've seen this kind of thing before. I think you're gonna be okay. Why did I... Why is it so hard to think? 
You've been touched by darkness. It's... I'm hoping it's not permanent. Remember when you were here before, and you kissed me, and then everything got all dark? That was the best. Listen, this is very important. Where did he... I mean, where did I go? Can you tell me that? Baby, you don't need to go anywhere. You're here now, and you're in my head. You should be in me. You should touch me again. Not with a ten-foot pole, lady. This game just got X-rated. Hey, just in case there's a part of you in there that's freaking out right now, it's not your fault. I promise I'll do what I can to help you, okay? I... I don't... Please go away. Don't sweat it. I'm just saying that in case you really need to hear it, I've been there. I... I think there are spiders in my eyes. I think you put them in me. Yeah, I'm just gonna go now. I'm gonna go now. Um, that was weird. <laughs> <clears throat> ah! Radio! What's going- Gods of Asgard and their manager, Barry Wheeler. Guys, you're on your comeback tour, and you're playing a lot of your classic material, but you've also got a new single out, right? How'd that come about? Was it hard to go back into the studio after such a long time? Are you kidding me? They were chomping at the bit. They were just itching to stretch those creative muscles. Now, it had been a while because, uh, you know, they, they spent a lot of time in, uh... Retirement! We were retired. We were? Yeah! No, 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 no. We were at the lodge, and, uh, and we escaped. We were at the retirement, uh... Thing, retirement thing. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, really, once we got in the studio, things started happening. Now, the music has changed a little bit, and the boys were a little rusty, so it took us a while to find the right gear, but hey, once we got going, whoo, boy, they kicked ass. And it's an awesome song. It's called Balance Slays the Demon, and seriously, I think it's their finest work. And hey, I should know, I produced it. Oh, really? I didn't know you were a producer. Well, this was my first time. I mean, they needed a little bit of guidance, you know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong, these guys are the best. But it's the 21st century, man. Things just sound a little different these days. So, you know, I kind of stepped in there, helped them make it sound all cool, kind of jazzed it up. <laughs> what did you do, Barry? Oh, no, it was really easy, man. I was just, you know, like, hey, give it a little zing, you know? Let's take it to another level so it really rips. Synths? You no, know, let's just throw some really sweet synths in. Like that, you know, just kicked it up a notch, but it's totally old gods. Well, let's Barry, if you've ruined it. For yourselves. No, Here's moment of truth. Of Asgard, and balance slays the demon. Oh, yeah. Deep in the ocean of darkness. I don't think I'm going to like this. <laughs> the hell is this? It sounds like Thriller. Oh, that's more like it. suborned by the insidious touch of the darkness he has experienced it himself but merciful light burned away the darkness in his brain oh yeah <clears throat> sorry you missed the start of that little uh, 
announcement, but <laughs> I left before the song it like you can still hear the song now, hold on. I mean the song's alright, but like it's not Whoa. It's not anywhere near as good as um that one on the stage from the uh from the actual game. Or the other one actually, uh I like those ones because it actually sound like, sounded like Poets of the Fall, whereas that is like... <coughs> Barry screwed it up. I hate Barry. Friggin' blowfish, man. I hate that guy. Now it sounds all 80s synth rock and odd. Don't like it. Damn! And heck blast. Yeah, we got over here. Souvenir booth. What the hell? Oh, crossbow. Do I have to switch? No. No! Oh! Hello. Yeah, just waste all that, that'd be good. There we go. Easy peasy. When balance slays the demon, you'll kick Barry in the balls for ruining everything. How? The car seemed to sail through the crisp mountain air in slow motion, spinning around one axis almost lazily. The moment was hypnotic. Then it struck the pipeline in a shower of sparks, the impact turning the windshield into a burst of safety glass. As it hit the ground, I snapped out of my reverie. The car was rolling downhill, slowing down as every bump killed momentum but still coming. The fence wouldn't be enough to stop it. How ominous. Aga! I said Aga! I said Aga! You suck at climbing, Alan. Oh, look! Mr. Hero's here! You ready to save the day? You don't you hear? You look like an action man. Don't do that again. Come hither. Are these those, uh... Oh, I can never tell. I think these are those ones that you're not supposed to put light on. Christ, immortal or what? A gun shot to the head of that thing. Oh, I was just going to say there ain't many manuscript pages in this place, but I found one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't actually know where it is. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're rubbish! It's been two years since I came here. Being that long without Alice breaks my heart. And I know it broke hers. I know she thinks I'm dead. How could I blame her for that? It would be a crime to pretend that she owes me anything. She took all the stupid, self-indulgent bullshit I brought into her life and still stood by me. Still loved me. It's no betrayal. But I'm a better person now than I used to be. I want to be that person with her. Don't swear, Anna Mike. It's nasty. You'll go to prison. What's over here? 